Hey there gamers, welcome back to Creative Gamers. If you're a fan of emulators and love diving into classic PS3 titles right from your Android device, today's video is going to be a game changer for you. We're checking out the brand new update for the RPCSX V2 PS3 emulator, specifically the Android UI version. This latest update brings a bunch of improvements, fixes, and brand new features, and I'll be walking you through everything, step by step. Let's kick things off with what's new in this update. First up, the V-pad editor got some love. The control panel movement has been fixed, and the D-pad scaling is much better now, giving you smoother control while playing. A new icon has also been added in the settings for download channels, making it easier to manage those options. Behind the scenes, there are several fixes like a proper release version tag, a corrected CI build version, and even a fix for that annoying activity not found exception error. Yep, that dialog box won't be bothering you anymore. Now, one of the biggest highlights of this update is the implementation of input mapping support. That means you can finally map your controls exactly how you want. A huge deal for anyone using external controllers or just looking for more customization. They've also made some smart changes like deleting the APK after an update to save storage, and they've started implementing UI updating and download channel settings with several bug fixes to ensure things stay smooth. All right, now let's move on to the emulator setup. If you're starting fresh, here's how to get everything running. First, open up the emulator and head to the menu. You'll see an option to install the PS3 firmware. This is essential, so make sure you install it and wait a few minutes until it's done. Next, head into Settings, then Custom GPU Driver. Click on Download and choose the driver that matches your phone's processor. Keep in mind, this step is only needed if you're using a Snapdragon processor. If you've got a different chipset, you can usually skip this part. Once that's done, it's time to fine-tune the settings for the best performance. Head into Advanced Settings, then tap on Video Settings. Here's what I recommend. Set your resolution to 720 by 480 keep shader precision on low, Scroll down and turn off VSync, then enable stretch to display area. Finally, set your resolution scale to 60%. Now scroll all the way down to the bottom and go into the Vulkan settings section. Turn on the first option, Force FIFO Preset. This helps improve timing and stability for certain games. Then turn on Custom Driver Turbo Mode. This gives your GPU a performance boost, especially when running more demanding titles. These extra Vulcan tweaks can really make a noticeable difference in overall gameplay smoothness. Now that everything's configured, head back to the main menu. Tap on the plus icon to add a game file. You can add either a .pkg or an .iso PS3 game file. Once added, the game will take a few minutes to process, and then it'll appear in your game list. Tap on it and boom, you're playing a PS3 game on your phone. If your game crashes or doesn't launch, don't panic. Just close the app, go to your phone's settings, and force stop the RPCSX emulator. Then reopen it and try launching the game again. This usually fixes most issues. And there you go. With the new RPCSX V2 update, better control, input mapping, and smoother UI improvements, PS3 emulation on Android just got a serious upgrade. If this guide helped you out, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Got questions or need help with a specific game? Drop a comment below. I always check and try to respond to everyone. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Happy gaming.